Hi, my name is Isaac Bozeman. I'm a certified field technician with Skagit County Ground Search and Rescue. Now, you may have heard of SAR, SAR, S plus R, or Search and Rescue, and you may have some questions as to who they are, what they do, and potentially how to get involved. Well, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at some of those common questions we get in Search and Rescue. Enjoy! Hi, my name is Elizabeth Hanna, and I'm a technician for the ground search and rescue team of Skagit County. Uh, my name is Hector Santa Maria. I am with uh, ground search and rescue for Skagit County, also with Skagit Bay Search and Rescue. I'm Isabel DeLeon, Skagit County Search and Rescue certified team technician and EMT. Hi, my name is Devin Morton. I am a search and rescue technician and team leader. Hi, Deputy Ken Devereaux, Skagit County Sheriff's Office. I'm a search and rescue deputy for the county, been with the county doing search and rescue for five years. So SAR is short for search and rescue. Um, there's a lot of different teams for search and rescue. As I mentioned earlier, I'm part of ground search and rescue. We also have other teams like mountain rescue and such. The search and rescue program is a function under the local sheriff's office. SAR is made up completely of volunteers other than the sheriff's office and the dedicated DEM members of Skagit County. So search and rescue is deployed when the sheriff's department gets a call out from uh, somebody in our community who is in need of our services. Perhaps a person has gone hiking and uh, they were due back at five and now it's nine and they haven't returned and so the sheriff's department is called and they choose to activate us um, and then from there we all get a, a text out on our phone and can respond if we're available. As much as we would like to help your injured pets and animals um, we are solely for community members. The search and rescue program is strictly volunteer and is a 501c3 nonprofit organization. We do have fundraisers and different things like that where people can contribute to, to our team and the equipment that we need and all of that, but you should never have a search and rescue member ask you for money. Public is typically not used to utilize in, in search efforts because all of our SAR volunteers have gone through extensive training to get certified to be SAR volunteers. Our members are certified for their own safety, for the public safety, for the safety and well-being of any victims that we find. And it's, it's not just one day training, it's extensive and these guys do it, do it very, very well. They're all well qualified. Certainly if you're a member of the public and would like to participate, Let's have you volunteer and get on a team and go through the training so you too can be certified. It's, it's a couple months of training. Um, we basically start with the introduction of getting to know what search and rescue is. And then after that, it's about actually using your, getting hands on and going out on trainings and then um, just basically getting to know more of what it involves. Um, there's a mix of uh, classroom work and out in the field. 